Since its implementation in 2005, the National AIDS Spending Assessment has served as a comprehensive tool to track inflows, allocations, and utilizations of HIV funds from sources. This year's report, which covered the expenditure pattern in 2019, 2020, and 2021, indicated that the Ghana AIDS Commission spent in excess of $323.7 million on HIV health care financing, but stakeholders maintained that the expenditure was below target. There are 350,000 reported HIV AIDS cases in Ghana, but not all have access to treatment. Some of the health facilities have decided to charge the patients for some of the services, including laboratory services. And if you look at the quantum of money being paid by uh, persons living with HIV to access these services, it's very um, huge. 32% discontinued treatment in um, 2021 because they cannot afford to pay. And when that happens, many of them die. So we, we are seeing the implications of that in the high numbers of uh, AIDS-related deaths in the country. However, health services rendered to persons living with HIV AIDS are supposed to be free under the National Health Insurance Scheme. We expect the national the health facilities to work under the terms of the National Health Insurance to consider the plight of persons living with HIV. Why? Because it's causing what we call catastrophic expenditures among HIV-affected households. Ghana continues to heavily depend on international donors for funding for its HIV program as local fund mobilization constitutes only 30%. Executive Oversight Minister for the Commission, Dr. Kwekwefriye, said governments will intensify a domestic funding drive to support the elimination of HIV-AIDS by 2030.